What's up guys? Nick here for Daily Vape TV. Today we're going to be taking a look at three juices from Fusion Vapor. Alright, so first up we have Poison Apple. You can see. There we go. This is supposed to be a sour apple hard candy flavor. Pretty much like a uh, Jolly Rancher, I guess. Just to note, I am changing wicks and coils in between testing just so there's no flavor overlap, making sure everything's clean, just to get that pure flavor. All coils I'm testing on today are going to be 0.8 ohm with a cotton wick. Let's give it a vape and see what it tastes like. It's really good. Um, I have tested these on, on the Spire Nautilus, and I definitely get a lot more of the sweetness from a dripper. You still get that kick of sour at the end, but uh, definitely tastes a little like a Jolly Rancher. I have tried a few different apple flavors recently, and this one is definitely one of the better ones for sure. You get a lot more of that sour flavor rather than just the, the sweetness, or like the candy kind of flavor. As you can see, plenty of vapor. I'm pretty sure Shane uses a 65 PG, 35 VG blend, and tons of vapor out of it though, you know. Uh, something you'd see more of a 50-50 blend. Really good, really good. Um, definitely get a lot of that sweetness though. It's there, you know, it's there, but it doesn't really punch you in the face. One important thing to note would be that this juice does crack tanks. I put this in a cheap plastic tank and it instantly cracked. So definitely use a glass tank or a dripper, something similar to that, if you want to try this one. But the flavor itself, I'll give it five stars. Uh, for the vapor, probably about four stars. And the throat hit, it's a little light for a six milligram, so I'll give it three and a half. But overall, this is definitely uh, one of my new favorite juices and I will be reordering. Next up, we're gonna be trying Ectoplasm. See there. This one, the description really on the website says it all. Uh, basically, it's a copy of the High C Flavor Ecto Cooler. I've tried several of these in the past, and a lot of them fell short. This is by far the best one I've ever tried. Uh, the juice itself is like a nice dark, kind of like green yellow color. Uh, and it does separate so you will have to shake this one up before you use it. Uh, the flavor is just like like the juice at the bottom of a green freeze pop. Uh, that was in the description. I completely agree. Uh, let's see what it tastes like. Oh yeah. Definitely getting that green freeze pop flavor. With this one you get a lot of that sweet flavor, a little bit of sour, a little bit of citrus. Very enjoyable. Plenty of vapor. I'd say for flavor, I'd give this about four and a half, maybe five. I'll give it a five. Uh, for vapor, four, solid four. And for throat hit, again, it's a little light for a six milligram, but still solid three and a half. Definitely one of my all day vapes. I have tried this in the uh, Nautilus tank, and it does produce plenty of vapor in there, but on a dripper, the flavor really comes out. That sweetness just immediately hits your tongue. And it totally reminds me of the, the high C flavor. It's 
So yeah, it's ectoplasm. One of my favorite juices, one of my favorite uh, versions of this flavor. Like I said, I tried them from all over the place and this is by far one of my favorites. And finally, we have unicorn blood. There you go. This one has a bright red color, which looks really cool in a dripper, especially if you're using clear caps like me. Best way to describe this one is basically like taking a whole handful of Skittles, shoving them in your mouth at the same time. I also get a little bit of a kind of a Hawaiian punch flavor, which is really enjoyable. Definitely can be an all-day vape for me. As far as vapor production, I'll let you decide. A little bit less than the other two, but still definitely a lot of vapor. Uh, very sweet flavor. Can't stress that enough. Uh, you do get a, a lot of that fruit flavor to it too. And a little bit, you know, definitely like a Hawaiian punch, like you're drinking a big glass of Hawaiian punch, like it's a sh whole sugar rush. Very enjoyable. As far as the flavor, I'll give it a four. It could definitely be a little bit stronger, but it is all there as far as the complexity and the different layers of flavor. For the vapor, I'll give it a three and a half. Like I said, a little bit less than the other two, but still plenty of vapor. And a throat hit, again, three and a half. A little bit less than I'm, I'm used to on a six milligram juice, but definitely gives you a little kick in the back of your throat. Let's have another drag here. One last thing before I go, I want to give a huge shout out to all my new followers on my Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, and Facebook page. I'm also going to be running an Instagram contest with Fusion Vapor, giving away five bottles of their Prime Line juice. So definitely keep an eye out for that. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Daily Vape TV. Follow Fusion Vapor. Make sure you check these guys out. And I'll have a link in the description to where you can get these juices for yourself. And yeah, like, favorite, subscribe. Thanks for watching. And as always, vape on.